we have a very small amount of water, and that's got to accommodate the needs that humans have for drinking water, and a lot of that water is not accessible. We are committing hydrocide. We are deliberately murdering our rivers. Our rivers across the world were being deeply impacted by the dumping of poisonous, toxic material. Every single piece of clothing that you buy comes with a cost. The fabric dyes used to contain hazardous materials, things like mercury, cadmium, and lead. These kind of chemicals, they don't break down, and they travel around the world. This water is so toxic, there is no aquatic life. If you see how people are living there, they have lost their sensory adaptation. They can't smell anymore. They do have problems with drinking water supply. There's a high incidence of liver cancers. If we continue like this, it's done. It's done. Maybe it's because the demand of the world has gone crazy. The statistics are insane. Something like 80 billion garments of clothes are being delivered out of factories. Those products are actually sold to the world's biggest brand names. A lot of companies do things that are very, very hidden and very secret. So the pipe is underground. You cannot really see this factory that is dumping this. You don't learn the details because at the end of the day, it's not a selling point. The consumer did not wake up one morning saying, I want to buy five pairs of jeans for a fraction of the price. We were literally introduced to this concept by the fashion industry. If you have two jeans, one is damaging the planet, the other one not, and the price is the same, no one will choose their own one. I mean, there's no excuse. I think all corporations have to be accountable for their environmental practices. And and no one, no one has a right to damage or destroy a river.